Welcome to another studio tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to create links and link tags for your website. In this example we can see a navigation bar here at the top and we want to link a few elements up so we're going to start with the contact page here. So if we scroll down here we can see that we have a home page and a contact page. So to link up this contact text element let's just click onto it a few times until we have it selected and we can see an arrow on the top right of this element. Once we click on this arrow we can select contact and now that is linked to the contact page. Now we can visit the contact page and we can make sure that this home link right here links to the home page. So let's do the same thing. We're going to link this to home and now if we go back home we have projects, services, and about. And let's scroll down the page here. We don't have pages for these links but this page has recent projects, services and about. So we can link these elements to scroll down to this area on this page. And these are called link tags. So let's scroll back up and we can see projects here. So if we want to add a link tag for projects, we're going to come down here and we can select this recent projects element. As soon as we do that we can see a blue button here. Once we click on this blue button we can set an ID. So I'm going to call this ID projects and let's create a few more IDs. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do the same thing to services. So once I click services I'm going to call this services and we're going to go back to about and we'll name this about. Now if we scroll back up and we want to link these to the areas on the page all we have to do is click on each of these elements click on this arrow to the right and we can see that now we have anchor links. So I'm going to click on projects, let's click on services, and about. Now that we have this set up, this is going to scroll to that area on the page. The last thing I want to show you is how to create external links. For example, this Facebook icon right here, we can click into here until we have the icon selected. And again, we can click on this arrow and instead of clicking on any anchor links or any internal page links, we can click on URL right here and we can type in a URL. And once we do this, we can hit return and you'll notice that there's a checkbox here showing that we want this to open into a new tab. If we uncheck this, this is going to open up Facebook and we're going to leave this website. So if you want your visitors to open up a new tab when clicking on this link, just leave this checked. Now let's click on live preview and see what this looks like. So now we can click on projects and we can see that we scroll right into projects. If we scroll back up we can click on services and we scroll down into services and we can also visit the contact page that we created. So here's the new contact page and if we go back home and now if we click on Facebook we're going to open up a new tab and we have Facebook opened up now. And that's how you can create links and link tags within Studio.